now we are going to start with a new unit that is the food as you all are familiar that we all eat food to uh, sur to survive as food provides us energy and like if you fast for one or two days so you feel start feeling lethargic you start feeling that uh, you are fainting you have that kind of feeling so that means food is very important because food provides us energy and that energy is required for carrying out metabolic activities of the body now the question is that what does the food actually contain which make you uh, survive better or which provide you energy food has nutrients food has nutrients so this is what you we are going to study about the, in this chapter that what actually are nutrients or what kind of nutrients are there what are the sources of those nutrients and what important function they are performing so starting with the nutrients first they are energy giving substances they provide us energy which is required very much required to carry out the metabolic activities of the body so nutrients has been classified depending upon that whether they are required in large amount or less amount they have been classified into two categories that is the macronutrients means required in a large amount micronutrients which are required in small amount so this is what we have macro and micronutrients now which uh, nutrients are considered to be macro they are carbohydrates they are proteins they are fats they are all required in large quantity now coming on to the micronutrients which are required in less amount they are particularly vitamins and minerals don't think that they are not required they are required but their requirement is small uh, requirement is small means like small amount of uh, small amount of vitamin or mineral can actually perform their function so this is what is a macro and the micronutrient so starting with the first uh, detailed study of the macronutrient that is the carbohydrate as the name suggests you know that carbohydrate so it contains carbon hydrogen and oxygen so it is made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen you can easily clearly make out from its name now carbohydrates are of two types one is simple other is complex simple simplest carbohydrates are the sugars like we have glucose we have fructose we have sucrose so all these sugars are simple carbohydrates now the complex ones complex carbohydrates are starch one of them is cellulose as you all know that uh, like potato what we eat we are actually fond of eating potatoes many people around so the potato actually contains the starch the rice contains starch so starch is a complex uh, this thing carbohydrate and cellulose you all are familiar that the cell wall of all the plants are made up of uh, plant cells is made up of cellulose so it is a main component of the cell wall of the plants cell of the plants so if we talk about that what is the difference between the two is that like simple sugars they actually taste sweet but if we talk about the complex they do not taste sweet means if you'll eat raw they will not taste sweet but if you'll eat raw sugar simple sugar they will uh, taste sweet they are soluble in water but it is the complex one they are not soluble in water they are actually instant source of energy so whenever you feel like that uh, Uh, you need uh, instant energy you can actually eat a sugary product that is a simple sugar but uh, so this this provide energy but not an instant source of energy and moreover you know that cellulose uh, cannot we can actually not digest the cellulose because there are ruminants like cows and buffaloes they have enzyme to digest cellulose but we don't have any enzyme in our body which can actually digest cellulose but still it is very important in our diet because uh, you know that roughage is very important in a diet cellulose uh, is one of the component of the roughage only because it actually uh, you can say prevent constipation it uh, it is helpful in the proper bowel movement or uh, so it is a fibrous content actually of the diet which is very much required so this is what is a carbohydrate now if we talk about that what is the actual use of the carbohydrate then the function is that it is an energy source it is an energy source it provide energy and secondly you know that excess carbohydrate like we feed to carbohydrate so if our energy requirement is already met so what happened to the excess one excess carbohydrate gets stored in liver and muscle cell in the form of glycogen 
in the form of glycogen which can be actually uh, you can say used up whenever you need an energy this glycogen can actually break up and uh, it can provide energy otherwise it is a you can say it is a emergency source uh, which is, so we have a few carbohydrates the excess one stored in liver or muscle cell in the form of where they co convert into glycogen and just get stored up. So this is what is a carbohydrate. Now we'll start with the other uh, this thing macronutrients. So this was the carbohydrate. I think you got it. So just uh, write it down. Try to learn it. I'm starting with another nutrient that is the fats.